Hey guys, it's John Dean here, and in this video, we're going to start to use Market Samurai to do some keyword research and find our theme and category keywords to use within our niche. So, without further ado, let's head on over to Market Samurai and into the video. Before we jump into Market Samurai, let's first talk about theme keywords and category keywords, which is what we're actually going to be looking at today. Now, your theme keyword, if if we try and explain this um, in the context of the site that we're hopefully going to set up, the theme keyword is really the thing that describes the main theme of your website. So if we had a website about crocheting for beginners, that would be our main theme. Now the category keywords, that actually describes the categories of information within the website. So maybe you've got categories on how to crochet, crocheting socks, crocheting scarves and crocheting tools and equipment. Now. At up to this point we've been looking we've been doing niche research looking at things like magazines and, and finding um, topics there for us to then go and delve into and what we're going to look at now is actually looking at those specific niches and drilling down into those niches to find keywords which people are searching for and ideally we're looking for keywords which have got a good level of traffic and an acceptable level of competition I mean that the best thing we can hope for is lots of people searching for a particular keyword but not that many competing pages out there so that when we create a site and put our content up we've not got a lot of competition but we've got lots of people looking for information so in order to do this we're actually going to head on through to Market Samurai now here in Market Samurai what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project by clicking on this new project link here and then up here in the keyword box we're going to put our what's called a seed keyword this is the market this is the overall general market we're going to look at now for the purposes of this example I'm going to look at the market of running and once I've put in running as my keyword I'm just going to come and click on this create button down here and it will create a project for me in market samurai once I've created my project of running I'm then going to come and click on keyword research over here in order to find keywords which relate to running. Now when you come to this tool for the first time you'll see this first box here it says Google Keyword Tool and then it says Account and it has a drop down box. Now if you have an AdWords account click on this Add New AdWords Account link here and you can put in the email and password for your AdWords account and then click on the Add Account button. What this will do is it will mean Market Samurai accesses the Google Keyword Tool using your own credentials. If you want to search without um, an AdWords account, click on this Generate Without AdWords Account link here and it will look for keywords without using an AdWords account. Now I have an account set up so I'm going to use my account and then once you've selected your account or whether you're going to look without an account come over to the right hand side and click on generate keywords. Market Samurai will then go away and it will fetch data from Google directly and it will fetch back keywords which relate to running which is our original seed keyword. As we can see Market Samurai has returned back now 801 active keywords based on the seed keyword running. Now that's a lot of keywords um, and some of them will have more um, searches than others and some of them will have uh, more competition than others and also if we think of running as an overall market which is quite a broad topic we actually want to start drilling down more specifically into more of a niche area because running is obviously um, split up into a lots of niches like you can see here we've got 10k runs uh, 5k runs about running uh, advice for runners barefoot running, beginning, beginners running, best running shoes, so there's a lot of different aspects to running and we want to focus more on a, a niche or a micro niche within the running market. So I'm going to uh, go back to the top and I'm going to choose to look at 10k runs. Now to look at 10k runs in isolation I'm going to click on this little key icon and what will happen when I click on the key icon is it will open up 10k runs as its own tab within Market Samurai. If you then click on this tab what it then does it allows us to go back into the keyword research module 
and you'll see we've got 10k runs as our seed keyword so if we go and run the generate keywords uh, function again what market samurai will do is it will go off and it will query google for keywords that relate specifically to 10k runs so we're narrowing down our focus and we're narrowing down our niche so we've gone from our overall market of running down to a, a smaller niche of 10k runs now this might take a bit of time depending on um, how busy Google is, how good your internet connection is uh, and so on. So this might take a few minutes or it might take a little bit longer. So we'll come back to it once Market Samurai has finished getting all the data back from Google. Okay, Market Samurai has come back, it's gathered all the data uh, from Google and it's returned back, as we can see here, 766 active keywords which relate to our seed keyword of 10k runs. So that's quite a lot of keywords um, but we we want to select a few for our main theme keyword and for our category keywords now in order to do this we're, we're going to um, come down here and we're going to click on this keyword analysis button and what the keyword analysis section of market samurai allows us to do is see how many searches each day that this keyword is receiving uh, see and, and some of the data now before I delve into this data here, I'm just going to talk about the, the criteria that we use on the challenge when we're selecting our theme and category keywords. Okay, within the challenge we use some filters in order to assess our theme and category keywords. The first filter is the number of searches per day that the keyword receives. And within Market Samurai, the column that we're looking at is called SEO Traffic, or SEOT for short and the first challenge filter is a minimum of 80 searches per day. Now if there's 100 searches, 200 searches, 900 searches then that's brilliant. In an ideal world we want as many searches as possible because that means that there's more people looking for information using that keyword. Um, but if we've got less than 80 searches a day then we really need to be brutal here and just discard the keyword. If it's only five searches a day then really there's plenty of keywords out there to look for so don't don't bother with it if it's less than 80 so the first filter is an SEO traffic filter at a minimum of 80 searches per day the second filter is something called the phrase to broad match ratio and basically we've talked about broad match phrase match and exact match previously and what the phrase to broad match ratio is, or PBR for short, is the number of phrase match searches versus the number of broad match searches. And it's, it's shown as a percentage. Now, the higher the percentage, the more likely it is that people are searching for that keyword phrase with those words in that particular order. The lower it is, the less likely that people are searching for the phrase. Now we again have a minimum of 15% and this is because we've found over the number of years of testing through doing the challenge um, that anything less than 15% the keywords are probably not being typed in in that particular order or that they're not being searched for in that way. So again we've set our second filter to a minimum of 15% and as with the SEO traffic filter the higher the number is better. Uh, so it, your keyword needs to have a minimum of 80 searches per day, a minimum of 80 SEOT, and a minimum of 15% PBR. If it's less than either of those, then you need to discard the keyword and move on to the next one. The third and final filter we use is the number of competing pages out there that are also targeting that specific keyword. And in Market Samurai, the column is called the SEO Competition Column, or SEOC for short. And here, it's, it's the other way around. It's the maximum number of co competing pages that we're willing to go up against. So our filter is set to a maximum of 30,000 competing pages. Now, you might find when you're doing your keyword research, you've, you think you've got a really good keyword and it's got 900 searches a day, the, the PBR is 80%, but your SEO competition filter is uh, like 500,000. And the amount of times in previous challenges where people have gone, yeah, but the top 10 looks quite easy and you know I can probably get across them, 
it's it's a huge amount of of pages to get past in order to get and test your keyword so that's the reason we set an upper limit of 30,000 competing pages so if your keyword is in excess of 30,000 you need to just get rid of it so those are the three filters on the on the challenge a minimum SEOT of 80 a minimum PBR of 15% and a maximum SEOC of 30,000 competing pages so let's head back into Market Samurai and we'll show you how ridiculously easy it is uh, to check our keywords against these three filters so here we are in market samurai again and as you can see if we look at the top here there are loads of checkboxes in market samurai I mean market samurai is a wonderful tool and um, but it's built for beginners and also very advanced users alike now we're on the very start of our journey um, on getting set up on the internet and doing research and we don't actually need at this point to use every single box that's on here in fact a lot of these boxes if you're if you're new to all of this can be extremely confusing so there's two things we're going to do the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set market samurai to our challenge filters now in order to do this we come to this box here that says filter and you'll see there's a drop down if we drop it down you'll see there's actually a filter called the challenge if you choose the challenge you'll see over here our SEOT has been automatically changed to 80 our PBR phrase to broad has been changed to 15 and our SEO competition SEOC has been set to 30,000 Market Samurai has done it for us straight away however we're only interested in those three columns so I'm going to go and uncheck all the boxes that aren't those three columns because at this point in time they're just going to be a distraction so I'm going to unbox, uh, uncheck all the other boxes here so that below we are just left with SEOT, PBR and SEOC. Now as you can see the SEOT column and the PBR column have already been populated. However Market Samurai has not fetched the uh, competition data yet, the SEOC. So we're going to click on this Analyze Keywords button and Market Samurai will go away and it will gather all the data and it will automatically filter the keywords for us based on our three challenge criteria. So here we are now and you can see there are um, six active keywords. The first one 10k runs which is highlighted in orange is our seed keyword. Now as we can see it does not meet our challenge criteria. It's got SEOT of 250 which is brilliant but the PBR is less than 15% and the SEOC is higher than 30,000. However, Market Samurai is still showing it and highlighting it in orange because it's our seed keyword, so it will always show. But what we can see below is there are one, two, three, four, five keywords which do meet our three challenge criteria. In excess of 80 searches a day, in excess of 15% PBR, and lower than 30,000 competing pages. So what we need to do now is choose which one of these um, ideally makes up our overall theme of our website and then use the other ones as our category keywords. We can also, if we wanted to, take, click on the key icon next to one of these keywords, we take it into a brand new tab and do further keyword research based on, in this case, UK half marathons. So we can further drill down and expand our keyword set. Now, ideally, for the challenge, we want to have at least three or four keywords to work with on our site. If you've only got maybe one or two, then it probably means that that keyword won't have a lot to write about after a certain, certain time, and it won't get a lot of visitors once we start getting our site up and running and promoted. So you probably want to go back and, f and research other keywords in order to find the right one to test with. So... Your action step for today is to use Market Samurai to explore the niches you've already been looking at and that you've already, you've already been found, finding through magazines, etc. And identify at least three separate niches where the keywords meet the challenge criteria. Now just to be absolutely crystal clear what this means is you're going to go away and you're going to research three distinct niches and in each niche you're going to find a theme keyword and a number of category keywords at least three or four 
which meet the challenge criteria of a minimum 80 searches a day, a minimum 15% PBR, and a maximum 30,000 SEOC. And then in the future session, we'll take one of these niches and we'll go and start down the path of actually testing. So that's your action step, and we'll see you in the next video.